in my previous video when I sorted out the insulation and the flooring in this van I uh, didn't address the walls here and these are my bits of ply what I've done is I've cut each of them to uh, in half and then what I've done is I've cut them exactly the same so now I can put them on the opposite sides of one, one another so now instead of having a horrible painty roughed up side I've just got sort of a clean wood looking side so that's what I'm going to screw on right now Welcome back my DIY nomads. I hope all of you guys are doing really really well today. I am doing really well today because I've just checked out my budget. I've gone through everything, what I've paid for, everything that's gone into this van so far. And I have more money than I thought I did. Um, I, reviewed all, I reviewed all of my purchases and realised what I've been doing is I've been ramping up the price of everything in my mind. Um, so that it was like worst case scenario. I've been adulting hard because I put everything into a spreadsheet um, and yeah it turns out I have 14 pounds and 7p I think it is but 14 quid I, I now have an extra 7 quid on top so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to order in I'm going to go get some uh, cheap of those those CLS stud work like standardized they're like 68 no they're 65 odd millimeters by 64 millimeters by 38 millimeters uh, would would and the reason I'm going for some of those is because they come 2.4 meter lengths and they usually cost well at the moment currently which is why I'm going to go now is they cost two pound 30 at Wix which is so good so I'm going to buy four of those and that will build the whole of the bed frame so I'll have a very strong bed frame at brand new wood and then I'm going to reinforce it with bits of the wood from the red palette now on the palette front I did already know that the colored ones especially the blue ones usually they're not like they're not you don't own them when you get them they're like owned by a company and you basically have them like you rent them or whatever it is like there's a process to it um, now I haven't I thought I did but I haven't actually destroyed the blue palettes yet but I a lot of people have been mentioning about that I should take them back because I, I shouldn't really do I shouldn't really take them apart and use them because it means someone's getting screwed over somewhere uh, if they just suddenly disappear out of the line um, so I think I'm gonna be a good Samaritan uh, I'm going to take them, I'm going to find a place to take them to and I'm going to give them back to whoever needs them or whoever it is. I don't know why it's bugging me but I just feel like I should do that. The red palette I have already cut into so that's already a goner so I'm just going to embrace that one and I'm going to use that to reinforce the bed. Um, but yeah this means I have a nice fresh new wood bed and um, it should be very very strong which will be great. <laughs> bed frame is now in it's looking sick and I've also got this bit that I've made up so basically this is hundred and forty centimeters long this base and a normal bed is 190 190 centimeters long this is 60 centimeters wide so it's a little bit narrower than a if you cut a double in half so the IKEA mattress that I've got will fit perfectly when I cut it in half 
but this is the piece de resistance. I managed to find um, a couple of hinges lying around and this is the extra length for it. So basically, this is now hinged. And I think you might be able to see where this is going. So, that is the full length of bed. Now, when this will have slats on the top, it obviously won't be able to go over the top and I'm gonna have a locking mechanism so it stays up, but I was thinking it would stay angled really. But when you get to your other end, put the chair forward, that is a full length bed. Oh, yes. So I'll be able to lie out completely fully stretched, easy peasy, not a worry in the world. Just need to mount this down, get some slats across it, get the mattress in there. Oh, then I've got all this space on this side which will just be for potentially storing stuff. I'm thinking, I'm trying to work out where I'm gonna put the stove. I don't wanna put it down the end there because all the steam will collect there, but also in the same respect, if I have it coming out here, that means that if it's raining, I can't really cook. So I've gotta think about this. Right guys, I had a great find. I rummaged around the house because I was worried about how I would mount the bed down to the, to the base of the van and I've just been literally hunting and taking apart things and finding all the L brackets I possibly can. So I've got like a mix match of random different ones, but I should be able to mount the bed. My bed for one week looking awesome I can't lie Nick there's no slats going across but it's just balance on top that is a full-length bed and then I've got all this space here all the storage underneath cracking even lines up with the door <laughs> 